Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use SketchUp in Fence System and how to set different or rather multiple inferences. You're gonna need these inferences in order to create moving or rather modifying objects. So let's start with it. So first let's talk about the point inference. The end of any edge will give you a green circle that is actually the end points inference like this and if you just move along the edge it'll give you this uh, on edge inference that is shown by a red square you can say and if you just hover over to the midpoint of the edge it'll give you the midpoint inference so if you move over a face it will give you this inference shown by a blue diamond that is on face inference so with this you can actually create some different shapes over the face or any face like this now you would also have a intersection inference now right now this is inter intersection in group inference because these two are actually the groups now this there is no common edge they are not joined but these are actually intersected together so if i just explore these groups i'll end up having the intersection inference shown by a red cross now if you're trying to snap to the inferences on a group this will show you all those inferences in this magenta color which will actually indicate that this is a group that you are uh, trying to snap on now let's talk about the linear inferencing for that you have to first find a inference point now once this uh, text box pops up you can actually drag out to any of those axes and uh, what you are is you're actually logged to that axis and you can start a line on that axis from anywhere from any distance or measurement now one cool thing about this is you can actually alter the axis by pushing different arrows from the keyboard like here if i push the right arrow now i can create a line along to the red axis if i push the up arrow this alters that to the blue axis so different arrows give you different axes now once i'm here i can actually snap on to the other end point and create a line parallel and having the same measurement as the other one now if you start from a inference point and hold the shift key it will lock you to that axis you can also reference the multiple points so if we just hover up to the midpoint and now to the other midpoint you can actually find intersection point if you just click on it now you can actually start this line from the intersection of these two points by inferences you can also create some perfect squares like this or the golden ratios like this one here or you can snap perpendicular to the tangent as well now you can also snap to the half circle by the inferences for more videos you can subscribe to our channel and put your questions in the comment section below the video